Portal hypertension is hypertension of the hepatic portal vein. Portal hypertension is the result of a greater than normal difference in pressure inside the hepatic portal vein as compared to veins exiting the liver. Blood pressure in the hepatic portal vein is normally higher than blood pressure in the veins exiting the liver, meaning there is normally a difference in blood pressure between the hepatic portal vein and the veins exiting the liver. In the case of portal hypertension, this difference in blood pressure is even higher than normal and can become pathologic. The cause of portal hypertension can be described by components of Ohm's law. Delta pressure equals blood flow times resistance. In the case of portal hypertension, the increased difference in blood pressure is due to an increase in resistance to blood flow through the liver. The increased resistance to blood flow is a common result of a diseased liver, such as a liver with cirrhosis. A diseased liver can lead to an increase in resistance to blood flow in several ways. Thrombosis, or blood clotting in the sinusoids of the liver, can be common in a diseased liver. Due to the narrow nature of the sinusoids, a blood clot can be enough to entirely cut off blood flow through a sinusoid. A diseased liver can simultaneously inhibit production of vasodilators and increase production of vasoconstrictors. This leads to blood vessels in the liver constricting with little to no end to the chemical signaling inducing the vasoconstriction. The disease state of the liver can activate hepatic cells to be able to contract similar to muscle cells. This contraction, which normally does not occur in a healthy liver, can lead to hepatic stellate cells that compress the sinusoids so that blood flow through the sinusoids is severely limited. All these factors make blood flow through the liver very difficult and substantially increase the resistance to blood flow through the liver. The hepatic portal vein is thus unable to drain blood into the liver as efficiently as normal. Therefore, with no decrease in blood flow to the hepatic portal vein and an increase in resistance to blood flow through the liver, blood begins to build up in the hepatic portal vein, increasing the pressure inside the hepatic portal vein. This increase in pressure leads to a larger than normal difference in blood pressure inside the hepatic portal vein as compared to blood vessels leaving the liver and draining to the inferior vena cava. Thus, the hepatic portal vein is in a state of hypertension, known as portal hypertension. Portal hypertension must be treated by medical professionals. Usually, portal hypertension itself is not treated, but preventing or treating health complications that portal hypertension can induce is necessary in cases of portal hypertension. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe to our channel.